Good morning beautiful people, thank you for dropping by my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot. Um, today's just a general reading, a daily reading, okay, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does and it helps you, great. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb, it wasn't meant for you, okay. If you do want a private reading, you know where to go, description box below, take you to my website. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get on with our daily reading. Okay, I've pre-blessed the deck. What have we got for today, Spirit? Whoa, chunky, chunky. Yeah, I keep seeing that decision. It keeps coming through. All right, but it's not powered out, so I'm not taking it. Didn't we have this the other day? Four of Wands. Beautiful. Twin Flame. Twin Flame. On its way. Today, today. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me what we need to know. Mm-hmm chunky very chunky today some of you might be yeah look coming next to it ace of cups i feel like some of you might be a little bit worried this isn't really happening okay just with that heavy energy when i was shuffling it is happening believe it what did i say decision keep seeing the two of swords decision coming up yeah decision coming up i feel like Oh, the messages are consistent. I just feel like you're gonna you, you're gonna have to make a choice. You're gonna have to make a choice over someone who you thought, yeah, was your twin flame, but isn't. Look, yes, yeah, spiritually guided. Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you have been in a past bad relationship. Okay, bad situation. A really bad situation because spirits had to get involved here with the Six of Swords. Um. And you're going to be tested against it. They, 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 they're telling us all the time. Look, can you see that person in the back of the boat? Can you, can, can you see them there? Or is it there? I don't know if you can quite see it. Um, it's like a hooded figure in the back of the boat. And, and it just feels to me, they're steering the boat. And that can be like, it can be saying, you know, spirits with you. They're helping to take you away from a situation. But in this, in, in this layout that I've got here now... I feel like this person from your past. I'm getting it, yeah, I'm getting it through now. This person from your past, things aren't going well for them. I've been saying that consistently. I've got a strong feeling of that. I feel like there's no communication, okay, between you at the moment, like nothing. All right, as though as though, as though the relationship never existed. That's what I feel like, and I feel like this person's in hermit mode. Ooh. I do. I feel it because I feel like the planning on how they can best get back in. I do. I don't want you to have to go through it, but I feel like you're going to have to. Yeah, I didn't feel that. Yeah, I did. All right, I did. I got told to take it. Yeah. Look. Spirit got involved. They brought the tower down on this situation. Just brought the tower down. It had to stop. I feel like this situation was destroying you. Yeah, and you weren't making that decision. I do. And it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. And someone turns out not to be who you thought they would be, King of Cups. Mm. I think that's who you thought this person was. I do. I do. But it's coming under my twin flame here. So I also think the real um, King of Cups is coming through. Yeah, the real person is about to come through. Yeah, look, here we go. New journey. Ace of Swords. Clean break. Brand new beginning. Coming under this Ace of Cups. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Definitely, definitely, yeah, got it. Look. Look at this. Nine of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all that abundance. Yeah. Absolute. It, it's, it's all coming in for those of you who are doing the work, yeah, who are recovering, recovering from a really bad situation, all right, really bad situation, coming under this two of swords, I feel like you had to make a decision to walk away and rebuild, I do, and that's been really hard, and spirit assisted that because we've got the tower here, yeah, you know who you are, you know what you deserve, you know your worth, queen of coins, queen of pentacles, yeah, third eye, that's coming under this six of swords, yeah, that's working with spirit, 
working with spirit to get out of this shit situation and it was a shit situation it was but you you know your worth the tower doesn't come in easily it doesn't look there they go begging bowl five of coins and and, and the five of coins for me here looking in this deck is coming under this tower this person was taken unhealthily from you absolutely unhealthily from you and they were bringing you down but i just again i feel like this person's going to come back like the injured party yeah I, I don't think this person what i'm getting here this this person was operating completely um out of ego okay you were feeding them so much but not but not that wasn't being acknowledged so therefore this person thought it was all them yeah that ego they thought it was all them wherever they were achieving wherever they were doing wherever they were going they thought it was all down to them yeah and it wasn't you were feeding that progress at your own expense here five of coins you were feeding that progress and since they've been on their own that construct has just completely completely broken down so i'm seeing that's what i'm getting you know it, i keep saying the words narcissist i'm going to do a separate video just on narcissism okay um because i'm a survivor of that and and it's a horrible horrible psychological energy right it's a horrible thing to get your, your head around when you're dealing with someone in that situation it is um yeah look yeah <laughs> as i'm saying it and i know there's one flow and i'm gonna go down and get it but as i'm saying it here he is joker two of coins yeah this is a narcissist yeah this is someone who game plays mind fuckery all the time yeah you don't realize how much of yourself you lose when dealing with this energy all right and when you come out of it the traumatic effects of having dealt with that energy they're huge they're absolutely huge look yeah here we go look emperor aries doesn't have to be Aries, but it's the card of Aries. Emperor, this is someone who was very, and, and I say it with the Emperor when it's coming up in these types of readings, this is someone who um, seemed very strong, very trustworthy, very authoritative. Yeah, you thought you could rely on them. No, they misused the power. Mis it's abuse. I've got abuse all over this reading. Look, four of swords. They tried to destroy you tried to destroy you for their own means that is not someone you want in your energy for whoever i'm connecting with right now it's not who you want i need to pick this card up look here we go he's here again childish page of wands see who this person is childish idiot can i say it I'm sorry, I don't like to be disrespectful to people, I don't, you know, I think everybody, um, everybody has value, everyone has something to contribute, but when you've got someone who's abusing a situation, abusing energy, well, no, no, it's abuse, I'm sorry, these readings are really strong, um, I can't, I have to say what I see, I have to say what the cards tell me, I do, look, ten of swords, this is where this person had you, yeah, down and buried, yeah, down and buried, but what I'm getting now, what I'm getting now is this is them, and I, because karma, this is them, yeah, you, you, whoever I'm connecting with right now, the very fact that you're listening to these readings, you have connected to spirit, yeah, and you've picked yourself back up, you've absolutely picked yourself back up from this idiot yeah this person who created a false illusion in your life yeah this person who was feeding off your energy all the time what am i saying you've picked yourself up nine of coins you've re-established your independence yeah grounding you're healing yeah you're not romanticizing anymore um, and if you are stop it <laughs> right stop it because this was not a romantic situation 
all right don't look at what this person did through your lens of normality okay if, if you're sat thinking you know focusing on how could they do that to me how could anyone do that to somebody um you know don't just don't because they're, they're the wrong that's the wrong lens to look through right this person is mentally damaged right so they don't look at any situation in the same way that you do okay they just don't it's not their fault it's so sad really because a narcissist they just can never know true happiness they just can't look yeah you chose a new pathway you chose a new pathway you got up you took a different route but they're not gonna like that do you know why? Because you were a good source of supply of energy, a really good source of supply of energy, and they can't lose that easily. And I think, I feel, I'm being told, yeah, I'm being told that this person is shrinking. That's the words I'm getting, shrinking. What did I say to you with that Six of Swords? I said, I feel like they've gone in hermit mode, yeah? No communication, hiding yeah but not in a good way okay when you did your healing you went into hermit mode to do your introspection introspection to to try and understand kind of what the hell just happened there what none of it making sense probably for some of you so so bad that you were questioning your own sanity at times it wasn't you baby it was not you, I tell you. Oh, I'm connecting with you right now. It wasn't you, it was them. Look, and this is where they are now, Hermit. I said to you. Yeah? They're hiding. Yeah? Page of ones here, it's like it's like the child playing peekaboo. It is. It is. And it's hard, isn't it? Look, yeah, hiding, moon, concealing. Whatever's going on with this person um, from your past, you do not know. Okay, this is things being hidden. Yeah, it's also fears the moon. And I feel this person is fearful of facing you. Absolutely fearful of facing you. And I hope that's the case. I hope that's the case for those of you I'm connecting with, because they should be. They absolutely should be. I'm getting, Hermit Moon, I'm getting here that you're absolutely, whatever you're doing right now, whoever I'm connecting with, you are scurring the shit out of them. Scurring the shit out of them. Because they don't want other people to know about the illusion, do they? Mm -mm -mm. No, they don't, look. Page of cups. This person is coming back because they're failing without you. And, and and I don't see these messages to say, you know, that's where you should be sat thinking, I hope they are, you know, I hope they're suffering, I hope they come back, um, because you don't want to have to deal with that energy again, you just don't, it depletes your resources, it's exhausting, it's drama, yeah, but this person isn't sleeping, this person is hiding from you, deconstructing, okay, wanting to come back, yeah, because unfortunately, and let's say a collective prayer for them, the person, yeah, the person they've gone towards, they're now ruining them, or trying to, may succeed. I feel for them. It's awful. But look where you're going. Ten of coins. You're jogging on. You are jogging on. You're doing your healing, yeah. You're getting yourself better. You're getting yourself centred after this abuse. Horrible, horrible mental abuse, and you're moving towards true love. I feel it. Tell me, spirit. Tell me what we can expect. What can we expect, spirit, in this situation? Thank you. Yeah, lovely. We'll take that. Ace of Wands. Yeah, absolute happiness, beauty, abundance, happiness. You, you are about to get your rewards. You are whoever I'm connecting with right now, look, celebrations, you're going to be celebrating soon, 
Yeah, some of you already are. Yeah, some of you already are. But I'm just yeah, I'm just being told just just do not, do not lose sight of what this person really is and i'm going to do a separate video on it because there's so much to say about the psychological disorder i'm not medically qualified but i'm certainly experienced in it unfortunately but i got up and you're getting up and this person's scared of that scared of it beautiful all right spirit i want to know do i want these i do I do want these I do I'm going to the romance angels. I want to know about this four of wands, please. Tell me about this four of wands. Because we know what to expect from our past. We know what's coming. It's been coming up in several readings. Yeah, we can't control it. It's just going to happen. It's almost like testing our bench strength, yeah? Have we really healed? Do we really see it for what it is? Yeah, I felt it. Look. Twin flame. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Soulmate, yeah. When, past life relationship. This card for me isn't isn't an ex from your past. I mean, it could be for some of you, but I just don't feel it. Past life relationship is past life. I.e., you've known each other in past lifetimes, several lifetimes. I feel like whoever I am connecting with, you have been through so much, dragged through so much dirt and horror from this person. In, in your previous life, this emperor, this this person that misused the power, that you've been, as you've been healing, you've been calling in your soulmate, because you do, as, as you heal, and you lift your vibration, okay, up, 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 you get your glow back, you, you, you don't realise, but you're starting to emit your energies out into the universe, to, to, to say, I'm here, I'm available, and, and, and if you need support, your soulmate's picking up on it, in the call, in the call, beautiful. Oh, flick them then, didn't I? Next, what have we got, spirit? What else? That's a beautiful soulmate card. Four of Wands, past life relationship. What else do we need to know? Thank you. Yeah, let go of control issues. Okay, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Can you see that? Yeah, so it, it's again back to us where some of you might be going. Yeah, but where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you keep telling me this, but where is it? It'll come in when it's ready to come in. And you know what? It'll come in when you're at the right healing place. Because um, you, Spirit won't let it come until you are in a place where you've really released that ex. Really released that ex in that situation, yeah. And the reason being because those energies, those bad energies that you had in that past relationship, they don't sit with, they don't sit right with you. You're a beautiful person, so they don't sit with you. But the danger is you could bring them into the new relationship, and we're not going to have that. So you just got to keep focusing on you and healing. Look at this, children. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't think this is physical children, right? I feel this is this past person, this page of one's energy, childish behaviour. I do. I do. That's what I'm feeling in this reading. It, it's that childish behaviour. I felt it. I'll take it. Yeah, look. What did we say? you got to keep healing. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. What did we say? As you continue to heal, continue to grow, continue to lift your vibration, you start to bring the magic in. You do? Anything else, spirit, from these cards? Yeah. Yeah. So, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This is this this is you from your past relationship. It really is. You're in separation at the moment. But I don't want you romanticising it. I don't want you thinking this person's the one for you. They're not. You, 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 this person wouldn't have damaged you to that degree if they were right for you. They wouldn't. And then I've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Now, this is a strange one for me because I think this is, again, about you rebuilding, okay? You focusing on you, focus on rebuilding you, focus on your life, okay? But I also feel, right, that this person, with it coming after this separation card, I feel this is indicative that this person 
who you're currently separated from, who's hiding, who's hermit, yeah, I feel that it's, shit's hit the fan. The shit has hit the fan, right? And that's this to me, this is what I'm getting coming through. This person's going to try and come back because they want to they wanna get back in with you for support because it's all gone wrong, I'm telling you. I can feel it. It's all, I, I know it. It's all gone wrong. Look at this honeymoon. This is what's coming up for you. Bliss, absolute bliss. You know, and and and, and if and, and if any of these cards I felt um, were you know, because I'll deliver the bad messages. Yeah, I don't mind. I've, I'll I'll say what I'm getting, what I've got to say. And so, if I felt any of these where it's it's sort of down spiraling, were meant for you, I'd be saying it because I need you to pick yourself back up. But I'm not. I'm not. It's not you. It's them. It's them. They're in a right model. A right model. Right. I'm going to take, because I think I feel there's one more, I'm going to take a creature just to finish us off. I am. I want to know what creatures are with us right now. Spirit's supporting us through this situation. Right. Well, they've gone everywhere, haven't they? Yeah. Look. Knight of Swords. Idealism. Illusion. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely illusion yeah this person and i say this when i get it the knight of swords in the normal deck it's mental conflict it's it's coming at you with all sorts of messages so you haven't got time to think they're creating an illusion yeah an illusion that it's like a construct yeah that they want you to believe is the truth cards are everywhere they want you to believe this is where they are currently they're not they're not they're absolutely not and i don't want to be focusing on them because i don't feel they're worth it to be frank i don't even though i value everybody not people who abuse people i don't that's where that person's been yeah it, it, it's like and it's interesting because we started off with with the twin twin flame four of wands and this one look it's like as though you're looking like twins yeah i want you to let go of the idea that you and them are twins you're not yeah Th this this was abuse yeah and it's stopping you from moving forward it is it is and i can see the five of swords reversed i'm just checking i've got all the cards I have five of swords reversed. That's you coming out of this battle. It is. Any more final messages before we leave this reading? You've got a true treat twin flame coming your way, babies. You really have. This person is down spiraling. Be aware of it. Check your safety. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Eight of pentacles. You keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on your craft. Keep healing. Master your emotions. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tested. And I wish it wasn't true, but you are. Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. So three of Wands in the normal travel uh, tarot deck for me is the travel card. Looking out, waiting for your ships to come in. This person moving away in reverse. Told you, they're coming back. Don't trust it. I don't trust it. You've got your own free will at the end of the day, my beautifuls. You will decide what you want in your life, okay? Of course you will. You're not stupid. You know, and you've learned from these past burns, all right? You know. But I want you to be verify. Check if it's an illusion. Check if it's someone you really want to put your time in. And do think about where you were in the past and if you want to revisit that place because you've worked so hard to get yourself recovered, to get to where you are, don't likely put yourself back in it all right gorgeous but like i said absolute beauty coming your way without a doubt but you are going to be tested i'm sorry to keep saying it. it's happening it's getting closer all right guys thank you so much um for taking the time if this resonated with you great please uh like and subscribe and um, if you want a private reading you know what to do but other than that i'll see you tomorrow thank you